Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I'm Carol Howell, your host. Thank you for joining me again today. We have over 350 um, podcast and pushing 300 videos that are available. You can go to our website, letstalkdementia.org, and find it all there. I have a blog there that I have to admit I haven't written one in quite a while, but there's still a good many blogs for you to take advantage of. Free stuff. Go to Amazon.com and you will find our books, Let's Talk Dementia, Reminisce and Worship, Mama is Confused, and So Am I. They're all available for your purchase there, but they're also on our website now that I think about it. So you can get everything at the website. And you can also contact me. There's a contact form there. If you're looking for a speaker for your upcoming event, then let's make plans. Um, I'm happy to be there for you and bring some good dementia education with some humor to your um, gathering of folks. So let's do that. Well, that's enough of my commercial for today. I wanted to talk with you about... Um, how you can't believe everything you hear? Well, I'm telling you, you certainly can't believe everything you read. And if you don't know that's true, then you've not spent any time on Facebook. I have just about decided one of the best things I can do is maybe not to look at Facebook so much. My word, the things people post that just are not true. Um, so don't believe everything you read anywhere and don't believe everything you hear. Because so much of life is um, your perception of things and your perception might not be exactly accurate. Which brings me to dementia. If you think it's true that sometimes your perception might be less than accurate or at least you think that's true of your spouse, <laughs> maybe you're always exactly on target and he's are the one that's messed up. Well, if you think that's true, then you know your loved one with dementia is having some perceptions of reality that might be a little off. I'll give you an example of that. I've been telling you about Uncle Ernie, my husband's um, brother, my brother-in-law. We call him Uncle Ernie because, well, he's my daughter's uncle, and that's just the name he's had ever since she was born. So Uncle Ernie has dementia brought on by Agent Orange and um, has had to move to memory care. And he has seen some rapid decline, recently been accepted onto hospice, which we're glad to have their help. And, and I say to you again, if your loved one qualifies for hospice, do it. Don't hesitate. You won't do it a day too soon. And they're not going to put, him on, put your loved one on hospice if they don't qualify. So keep that in mind. You do have to re-qualify. Um, it varies by state, I think. And I'm in Florida, and every six months you have to re-qualify. So, you know, you can go on and come off of hospice care. But anyway, Ernie has been telling us some interesting stories. And realizing, fortunately for him, that um, dementia can bring about hallucinations and interesting stories, if we want to call it that, our response to those stories um, are different than what they might be if we didn't know. And that's why I want to help you. So Ernie is telling us that his dad has called him. He's going to come see him. Well, now Ernie's not seen or heard from his dad since he was a wee little boy. So that's our first problem. Well, no, really, the first problem is his dad died some years ago. So we know it's not happening. But in Ernie's mind, it is. Now, he's also telling us that he's won a whole lot of money and that we need to go get it. And there's $6 in the front seat of the car we should get out, too. See, Ernie doesn't have a car. He's certainly not won a whole bunch of money. Unfortunately, that part's not true. He's also telling us that last night there was a big old problem and I went down to the owner's office and I just told them what was going on and they sent the police down here and straightened it up. Hmm. Okay. Ernie lives in memory care. Cannot get out of memory care. If he could, he has no idea where the owner's office is. And if the police had been there, I'm pretty sure staff would have called and told me the police came because of Ernie. Well, see, none of that happened. And we know none of that happened. But we didn't say, Ernie, come on. Your daddy didn't call you. Your daddy's dead. Ernie, you know good and well you did not win any money. And you don't even have a car to put $6 in the front seat. Get it together, man. You, you're just crazy. That's just dumb talk. Ernie. The police did not come last night. You did not have anything going on. Why are you making up these stories? Dude, think about something else. Well, we could have done that. But 
fortunately for Ernie, I understand dementia. My husband understands dementia. That didn't happen. We're just like, holy cow, really? Your dad called? Well, how wonderful. So is he going to call you again? What did you talk about? Took the conversation, went with it, see what he has to say. With Ernie, it was a very short-lived conversation. He didn't have a whole lot to elaborate in that story. Okay, end of that conversation. We start talking about something else. And with Ernie, he has lots of things to talk about. The man never stops. <laughs> he will make you tired. And then when he said he had won some money, and I'm like, well, great, Ernie. Um, what you going to do with it? He goes, I'm going to give it to you. I said, all of it? He said, well, some of it. I said, okay, great. How much do I get? Maybe I can go shopping. I know. I'll buy a new car. And he said, you like your car. I said, what kind of car do I have, Ernie? He said, you have a Honda and you like it. I said, that's right. So now I've got Ernie's mind off of winning money that he didn't win onto cars. And then we started talking about his Ford Fairlane because he loved his Ford Fairlane. And we talked about that. So we used diversion therapy and got his mind off of this hallucination that Ernie was having. Now, with the problem that he had where they had to call the police and he had to go down to the front office and straighten that situation out, we were like, well, Ernie, we're glad you got it taken care of. We heard everything's fine and, and all is well, and we're just going to be glad it's all taken care of. And he's like, yep, I took care of it. But you're proud of me, aren't you, Carol? Yes, sir, we are. It's all good. Now, let's talk about what do you think we're going to have for lunch today? Changing the topic, getting his mind off of this situation that didn't happen. Does that make sense to you? Let me tell you guys, just when you think your loved one has settled out and things are kind of calming down and you're, you're going with the flow, things are good, you're going to go see them or they're going to wake up in your home or whatever the situation and something's going to happen and you're going to go like, what? Where the devil did that come from? You know, who knows, but it is what's going on in their brain. Hallucinations are very real. When our folks say that they've won $8 million, they believe they've won $8 million with everything they have. And telling them that what they know to be true is not true, well, that's not good. That's like you looking at me and going, Carol, you don't have on earrings. When I know I got on earrings, I'd be like, yeah, I got on earrings. And you trying to convince me that I don't have on earrings when I know I do. So we don't do that. That would be silly. But we don't do that with our folks with dementia. Ooh, we should not do that with our folks with dementia. However, it happens all the time. I will just see that in, in communities when families come to visit or if I'm working with my clients, they want to argue with their loved one about what their loved one knows to be truth. Well, truth is subjective, let me tell you. If you don't believe it, I tell you again, read Facebook. I don't know. Don't read Facebook. Just don't. Take a nap. Do something different. <laughs> Watch my videos on Facebook and then that's it. Stop with that. Oh, mercy. Well, I hope that gives you something to think about. And the next time your loved one is hallucinating, go with that story. Change their mind. Change the sub... No, not change their mind. Change the subject so that their mind is now on something different. So keep that in mind. Makes caregiving easier for you. Makes caregiving easier for them. You're not arguing with them. Nobody wants to be argued with. I really don't because I want to win all the arguments. So don't argue with me. Don't argue with our folks with dementia any, either. All right. Blessings and smiles. We'll talk again on our next episode. Bye-bye. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to. And you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth. You can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the, hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. 
Hope brings smiles, and we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.